Okay, here's what I learned today. Nuclear power plants use uranium to make electricity. The way that works is uranium, it's radioactive, it undergoes fission, which is this chain reaction where a nucleus splits apart and neutrons fly off of it and then they'll strike two other nuclei which then split and so on and so on and so on. They uh, pay it forward, you could say. That process generates huge amounts of heat and so water is boiled with that heat and then that boiling water, uh, the steam, spins uh, turbines which then spins generators that make electricity. Now I knew all of that. What I learned today is in order to keep those rods cool, it's common to use liquid sodium as a coolant for them. And I thought that was really bizarre. It didn't really make any sense to me at first, but then after I thought about it, it sort of did. So sodium, the there are some benefits specific to like nuclear chemistry that I'm not very well versed in that I don't wanna talk about. But in terms of being able to absorb heat, Yes, it's sodium, it's a metal, uh, but it has a fairly low melting point. It's, you know, several hundred degrees, but for a metal, it's fairly low. But because it's a metal, it's very dense. So it can absorb huge amounts of heat. And these uranium rods, they output a tremendous amount of heat. So having a dense material that can absorb a lot of that is useful because you don't have to use quite as much volume of material. Now they do use water to cool down many of these reactions too. I think there are certain types of nuclear power plants where it's advantageous to use water and others where it's advantageous to use sodium. And again, the specific reasons why are complicated and I don't understand that all, them all that well, so I'm not gonna get into them here. But that's what I learned, using a liquid metal to cool down a radioactive metal. That's pretty cool. Come back tomorrow to see what else I've learned and thanks for watching. Thank you.